So Swiss Beats is to release his next album, Halt Living, track by track. And I'm gonna read a quote. You know what, let me make every song an event instead of just that one big day an event. I'm just tired of doing things the traditional way. So basically it's Monster Mondays, just now so, it's the so album. When is the album coming out? It isn't, it's just saying. single by single and then you can get the actual CD September 13th, which I personally, I love. I'm like a stan, so it makes perfect sense. It will generate more money, it will generate more views. Till the album leaks, you're three songs in, <laughs> and then the other 13 leak. Look at the Good Friday thing. It really is just good. Yo, that shit sucked. I was so pissed off when I finally got the album and realized I had heard everything already. That's exactly yeah. why you shouldn't do it. Because if you get the album and everything is on it, what's the point? Why even put out an album? That's basically boredom. You want to do something different, and if it don't work for like three or four weeks, then what? And you asked out, now your single is out. Is it possible for him to release single by single and still keep the label happy though? He don't give a shit. He bored. That's all it is. You don't think it's innovative See, enough? For a new artist. A new artist, nobody would care. And Kanye, you already did it. Good Fridays. Like, it already happened. To me, that's like grounds for bootleg. Automatically grounds for going to steal the rest of the album. Like, you just gave me 60% of it. I'm not spending 100% of my money on the last 40% that you didn't let out. No, I'm about, stealing everything else. How about Swiss? Here's how to make everybody happy. 10 tracks week by week, and then give us five that nobody's heard. Of. What makes you think he won't do that? Would that work? Double this. You leave the whole first disc, and then... Sell the second? Okay. First, this has eight songs on it, eight week stretch, then release day, new CD. That's genius. I just like it that he's thinking outside the box. I love that too. And that's the thing, that's what I like about Swiss. He's constantly reinventing himself. Look at the brands he's going for. Love it. Way to go, Swizzy. I, I think number one, we're giving him a little too much credit. I think the innovative line is a little strong, especially since what he's doing has basically been done. Kanye already did it. Kanye tricked everyone right. into and buying now, his album, and then you bought it and you already had it, and you were pissed. <laughs> Swiss is telling you, look, nigga. I'm giving you 10. They all gonna be on the album. Either you buy them single by single, 99 cent on iTunes, or you buy them the whole damn thing when it comes out of the same. Or thing. I do nothing because I already fell for this trick with Kanye. But do you understand and I'm not that gonna Swiss fall understands you. you're gonna do that anyway? When I asked Russell Simmons what he thought would revive the music industry, and he said, labels have to get out of the music business and get into the artist business because music isn't making any more money. I think Swiss understands that he is not that artist that people are like, yo, I gotta rush to get that new Swiss Beats album. So he's saying, yo, since I know that I'm not gonna top the charts anyway, fuck the CD system. Let me figure out a cool way to do this and draw you back to exactly everything else I'm doing to keep you guys interested. Or let me steal a cool way to do it since it's already been done before. I mean, you didn't figure cool, anything out. Nice. Like.